Well hey guys, I'm working on John's Triumph TR6 here and we're going to be converting it from points and condenser to lumination. Now John's got the Magnetronic electronic ignition unit so that should be nice and straightforward to fit and I'm going to show you guys how to fit it. So anyway, let's get it on the car. Right, so the first thing we've got to do in converting this car to electronic ignition is actually remove the cap from the distributor. Now we've already checked the timing of this car and it's firing at 11 degrees before top dead centre but it's always worthwhile checking the timing before you do convert your car to electronic ignition. Then we're going to have to take out the rotor arm and just put that to one side and then get rid of the point and condenser which is nice and easy, just a flat blade screwdriver and a Phillips screwdriver. So we'll get rid of the points first just this screw here which is actually the adjuster screw for the point just take it out and being very careful about this because we don't want to drop it inside the housing of the distributor because they do also have a little spring washer there and it's very easy to drop into the housing of the distributor we don't want to go fishing that out so again carefully just put that to one side And then the Phillips screwdriver, just to get rid of the condenser here. And then that should all pull up as one unit. And just taking off the low tension lead as well. And that's the points and condenser removed. So the next step is to install the Luminition Magnetronic system. And what we've got with the magnetronics is firstly this little base plate where the magnetronics sits onto and that sits in place of where the points would ordinarily be and that's just screwed down here and just get that in nice and tight so it doesn't move around and it's not really adjustable it's just a base plate that just sits in place there and that's how it goes and then we put the magnetronics in place and this has got a little dot groove just there that goes into the groove just there and sits in place on there and then there's just a little screw which just goes through the magnetronics we just sit it in place there and put it onto its base plate there and we'll just tighten that down we want these to be reasonably tight, but not overly tight, because obviously we don't want it moving around. And then just give ourselves enough wire from the magnetronics to go through the end of the distributor there. We want to make sure that we've just got enough, because obviously these distributors are going to move a little bit with vacuum advance or with bob weights. So you want to make sure there's a little bit of wire there, but not too much and then we'll just cable tie that wire to the base plate so they do come with this little cable tie with them and just feed through here And of course it's been a pain to put it through. There we go. And just secure that in place nicely. As I said, just leaving a little bit of slack in the cable, but not too much so it doesn't interfere with the rotor arm. So if we just cut that off nice and neat. Then with the magnetronic system, they've got this sort of rotor arm that goes underneath the rotor arm, and this is like the exciter ring for the munition to actually activate itself so it knows where each cylinder is for firing we put that in place it can't go the other way around it can only go one way around it just gently slots in place there and the rotor arm can go back on just 
like that and a distributor cap put back in place there two clips either side and that's it now when wiring up these lumination ignition systems they're very straightforward you've only got one red wire and one black wire you must make sure your ignition coil is wired up correctly now John's got a new ignition coil which will fit to his car but I won't do it as part of this video because I'm only showing you how this is done so the ignition coil must be wired up correctly with the feed to the ignition come to the positive side and that's where we want the red wire going to John's is already wired up correctly so we don't need to worry about that there's a positive side the coil is there and we'll put that in place there and then the black wire naturally goes to the negative side of the coil it's very important you do that the correct way around because if you don't you'll blow the module and it won't work and that is it John's now got electronic ignition so just one last thing before this is complete we're going to have to start up the car and get her up to running temperature and then reject the ignition timing So there we are, John's Triumph TR6 converted from points to electronic ignition. And the ignition timing was a little bit out, but that was no big deal because it was just a matter of loosening off the distributor and rechecking the timing and setting it up right to 11 degrees before top dead center. So I hope you found this video useful if you're converting your car to a Luminition electronic ignition system with Magnetronics. But as always guys, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.